Actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Loughlin among a group of parents expected in federal court in just a matter of hours from now facing charges for their involvement in the college admissions fraud scandal. Carly Shimkus is here with the Fox News headlines 24-7, Channel 115 on Sirius XM, and criminal defense attorney Bob Bianchi is here as well. Bob, we'll get your take in just a moment, but Carly, what happens today? All right, well, about a dozen parents are expected to face a judge in Boston uh, later today. Two of them, the faces of the scandal, Lori Loughlin, Felicity Huffman, um, they are both charged with the same thing, conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. But what they did was pretty different. Felicity Huffman um, accused of paying $15,000 to have her daughter's SAT scores tweaked. Lori Loughlin and her husband accused of paying $500,000 to get her two daughters on the crew team unclear if they are going to enter a plea uh, but according to prosecutors four people have already agreed to or will plead guilty and more charges against more people are expected to come out in the coming so weeks. Bob, we're reading here that some of these parents have come out swinging trying to poke holes in the government's case. What would be their defense? Well, defense is that they didn't do it. There's not enough evidence to prove that they did it beyond a reasonable doubt. I know one of the defenses is my kid was handicapped and that this was not inappropriate. But those cases are a lot different than the two cases that we're discussing right now. The evidence seems to be extremely solid there. Uh, Lori Laughlin was accused of has spent 500000 with respect to both daughters to be on the crew team, of which they've never done crew. They never did crew. And that looks like a really strong case with respect to both of them. And I'm going to tell you as a prosecutor, a person who led an agency and how we look at these things. The power and influence that they used, using money to take undeserving uh, people over those who are qualified, those who worked hard. But I, what law was broken well, they, in her case? They've committed bribery. They've committed uh, fraud. They've used the mail services. That's what the federal government is saying in order to perpetrate that crime. And the way prosecutors are going to be looking at those kind of crimes is you try to take advantage. You're like an armed robber. Your arms were filled with cash. It's a little different in order to give it to other people so that you could take away and rob from those kids who deserve to be in yeah, those classes. That's serious crime. She's been, she's been going to her yoga classes. Yeah. She's been wearing her bright pink outfits, and she's smiling. She's signing autographs. Like, is there a chance she gets off, is she's off the hook here, or what kind of time is she possibly facing? Yeah, Sandra, this is a, another great question. Prosecutors are watching. They're looking. And if I were her defense attorney, I'd say, stop putting on such a great public face because it looks like you have no remorse. It looks like you huh. don't care. It's all part of the arrogance that led you to believe that you could pay people off in order to give your kids something you don't deserve. Be remorseful. Stay out of the public eye. And maybe the prosecutors will show you some mercy. Prediction, jail time because of this. Listen, I'd say there are a little bit different cases. One's $500,000, one's $15,000. But I would suggest, and this is just spitballing right now, they face up to 20 20 years right now on the charges. If it goes to grand jury, they have escalating plea offers. It's going to get worse. So they got to plead guilty prior to the grand jury if the evidence is sufficient. I'd say 18 months to two years. Oh my gosh. Well, whether or not that ends up being the reality for them, their lives are forever altered. And we bring them up um, in the same sentence, but this has affected them very differently. Uh, this uh, Lori Lachlan has had a brutal time. She's the one that lost her Hallmark job. Her daughter lost the sponsors. Um, she has faced more of of a uh, public scrutiny, I think because of her, her image was so wholesome before, and her husband is involved, whereas Felicity well, Huffman... she was Aunt Becky. Yeah, I mean. that's right. <laughs> Felicity Huffman still has two Netflix um, projects that could still come out. Um, and William H. Mason. But can, can I just make a point involved. about this? And this is, we debate this in the criminal justice system all the time. Those who don't have anything, that don't have education, that grew up in impoverished areas, that are poor, that don't have access to great lawyers, they go to jail all the time. This is the argument that we talk about for thefts of 100,000, 75,000, 50,000. There's no way a prosecutor is going to let people that are privileged, that had everything at their fingertips, get away with the idea that they robbed from those deserving kids that didn't have those benefits. That's how prosecutors see things. Yeah. Federal oh. Court, Boston, Massachusetts today. Thank you, Carly. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank